Let's be honest, Macs aren't really made for the gaming world. And what makes them even harder to game with is Apple's distaste for a right-click button. So today, I'm going to use two old Apple mice, one from the 80s and one from the 90s. And I'm going to try to play some modern video games. And you're going to join my suffering. Sponsored by Linode. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and here are the two Apple mice we're gonna be using today. This is the Apple Desktop Bus Mouse from 1986, and this is the second generation, the Desktop Bus Mouse 2 from 1993. And I'm gonna hook them up to a 2013 MacBook Pro. So quick backstory on these mice. As you can see, this predates USB. This is a connection called Apple Desktop Bus, or ADB. It looks kind of like PS2, but it's a little bit different. And Apple used this port a lot. They started killing it off in 1998 with the iMac, but up until then, this is how you connected keyboards and mice to your Mac. Before that, they used a DE9 connection with their even older mice. You would actually screw these into your Mac, and that's how you connected your mouse. But today we have USB and Bluetooth and everything is much easier. Now you're probably thinking, Ken, how are you going to connect a 1986 mouse to a 2013 MacBook Pro? Well, with conversion technology, of course. I have this handy little board from Big Mesa Wires. It's called Wombat and it's an ADB USB converter. It can convert ADB to USB and vice versa. So that's what we're going to use today. Let's hook it up. So we'll start with hooking up the ADB. Just plug it into the ADB port and then USB. I have it plugged into the laptop and then you just plug it into the port next to the ADB like that and there you have the green on light. Now, there's a couple different settings. Remember I said it can work both ways. There's a little jumper on here that you might need to adjust. So we just want ADB. So I'm gonna take the jumper and the little graphic says, connect it to the far right pins for ADB. So I'll put that on there. And there we go, Windows now detected the mouse. And if we move it around, well, it might take a while to respond, but okay, I made a mistake. Uh, it, it did detect the connection. Let me try unplugging and replugging the ADB. There we go, now it's working. And now I can use Windows 10 on this MacBook Pro with this old 1986 Apple mouse, which makes a nice kind of grinding sound. I'm not sure if that's normal. <laughs> All right, so now that we're all hooked up, let's play some games. And yes, we're gonna be using Windows 10 for this because Apple doesn't believe in fun and they killed 32-bit support with their OS. So bye-bye most Steam games, they won't run anymore. So we'll use Windows. My favorite game of all time, Half-Life 2, we'll start here and see how it goes. So let's uh, start with Water Hazard. Let's go ahead and control this and see how it feels. Now, I already know the lack of a right click is going to be a problem, but not all the time. It depends on what weapon you're using. Certain weapons have a secondary attack. You probably have to do some key remapping because we don't have a right click here, yay. All right, let's uh, see how this goes. This particular weapon does have a secondary attack, these grenades, but I don't have any of them, so I may not even need a right click, but let's just see how this feels. Okay, let me switch to a different weapon here. I also haven't really played these games in like forever. I don't game a lot, uh, that may be a shock. But it doesn't actually feel that bad. I mean, the mouse sensitivity could be better. I have it turned up all the way in the Windows level, but let's see if I can turn it up more inside of the game. There is mouse acceleration. I don't think I've ever used that setting before. This doesn't track super well and it doesn't really have a lot of fast movement when you move it around. Uh, let's see, if we turn up the acceleration, now that seems a little bit better. That may take a little bit of getting used to still, but that does help. I'm starting a bit simple right now, but then I'm gonna play another game that definitely requires more buttons. <laughs> Portal. Let's try a part with more shooting in it. Wow, okay, see right there, I'm having some troubles with the cursor sticking. <laughs> um, but the, the ball looks pretty clean, but it is just an old mouse. And yeah, everything is really tiny because the interface doesn't really know how to adapt to a super high resolution <laughs> display like this is. Oh, that's right, this is the part with the sniper. Like you see, yeah, I'm having a little trouble moving the mouse here. 
Yeah, it's sticking a little bit. I even have it on a mouse pad, but it's still sticking a little bit. Oh! There we go. Yeah, we got him. So I can't use the right-click attack here, where it fires both barrels, but uh, I could do a remap. So that's something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to save that for the next game, though, in Portal. That's going to be interesting, because you need to be able to fire a left and a right-click, but we don't have a right-click on here, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, this is definitely not the most comfortable. I, I think I'd have better luck just using my $10 wireless gaming mouse, but hey, what do you expect for 1986 technology? Help! Help me! Oh, I don't know if I can. That's, that's a lot of blood. Oh, see, now I can't fire my secondary attack. I could really use that right now. I can't right-click. No! Oh, you ass... So... My takeaways, uh, it sticks a little bit, but with the acceleration in Half-Life 2, not too bad. One button is very limiting now. Also, there's no scroll wheel, but I don't think many mice in 1986 had a scroll wheel, and honestly, I don't like using the scroll wheel in Half-Life 2 anyway. That's how you change weapons. I just like using my numbers for that. Let's try the second generation version. Okay, so I just plugged this mouse in now, and already it feels more glidey and nice, but it also came out seven years later. Still no scroll wheel though, but it was 93. Not many mice probably had that, but uh, no right click. So that's a bit of a limiting factor, but it does feel a lot better. This more curvy and round design feels a lot nicer than this boxy shape. And also it just glides way better. So now I'm loading up another game I love very much, Portal. Now Portal is gonna take a lot of left and right clicking because you have to fire the blue portals and the orange portals to solve the puzzles. And well, we can only fire one type of portal with this mouse, so it's gonna be really interesting. Earlier in the game, you only have to fire a left click, but later it gets more complicated and you have to fire both left and right. So we're gonna have to do some keyboard and button remapping, which is gonna be fun. And I haven't even played the game in forever by itself. So even with a regular mouse, this could be weird. Okay, well, if I if my calculations are correct, all we have to do is fire a blue down here. And we just gotta put that on the button, and uh, there we go. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well this mouse glides. It actually feels pretty good. Way better than the other one. Gosh, I this is getting really nostalgic for me. I haven't played this game in so long. This was the first Valve game I ever played, by the way. So I have some extra nostalgic attachment to it. Okay, so I skipped ahead in the game a little bit to the last level, actually to see how difficult this can be. So I need to get over there. So I need to fire a blue portal there and then an orange portal here to get there. But as you can see, no right click. I feel like I've harped on that a lot because Apple just doesn't like right clicks. So if we go to keyboard here, this is where we gotta get creative. Firing an orange portal, or as they call it in this game, a red portal. They call it an orange portal in Portal 2. It's clearly orange. It's mouse two. We need to change that to, I, I'm gonna do F because it's right next to WSAD. This could be weird. I've never played the game with a one button mouse before, so I might really suck at it. All right, F. Oh, gee, this is weird. But uh, I think I'll get used to it. All right, here we go. The big Android hell section. Uh, gosh, I haven't played this in so long. I'm ready, let's do it. We're gonna be doing flings and all sorts of cool physics stuff. Oh boy. Yeah! Oh, they're gonna shoot me! Get out of here. This actually might not be too difficult. Oh gosh, I don't- oh sh I died. Never say this is probably not going to be too difficult, because you're just asking for trouble. F. Oh, I do not remember this very well. Ugh. Oh, now I do. Hey, there we go. Jump. F. Wait, what the hell? Why did it do that? All right, final boss time. Let's beat up GLaDOS with an old Apple mouse. Well, you found me. Congratulations. All right, bring it on, rocket turret. Come on. Oh, that was that was bad. There we go. That looks pretty lined up. Come and get me, baby. Yeah. Yeah, shoot that rocket. Come on. Right into your computer. You ass. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, I used to be able to beat this boss so quick. It's been so long. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, 
wow. It, it's tricky having to move your finger to do the F and WSAD. Because <laughs> normally you can just click and multitask. Oh my gosh. The, the, it may seem like not a big change, but when you're used to something else and you haven't played the game in 10 years, it actually makes things like needlessly complicated. Oh gosh, what the ch the mouse is sticking a little bit now. It is, it's sticking a little bit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. This is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Come on, baby. You want, it, you want this? You want this? Shoot me. Come on. Shoot that rocket. Right into your computer. Bam! Suck it, GLaDOS. Ugh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Having to move my finger. Shoot! This is weird. One more. One more core to destroy. Yeah. Ah, man. Can't aim this thing too well. Ooh, whoa, that was disorienting. Whew. There we go. Let's make things a little more interesting. Let's try some more speedy stuff. The Jelocity maps in Portal 2. And, you know, before we get anywhere, we should probably remap the buttons. So, fire orange portal. See, they call it an orange portal in Portal 2. That's gonna have to be F. Edit. F. Alright, let's see how much I can suck at this. Here we go! I created this test. Whew. Humans feel good about themselves. Oh gosh, I haven't done this in so long either. Oh, see, yep, this is not as easy as I thought. No! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We need more speed. I used to be good at this stuff. There we go. Ooh, the best part. Boing, 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 boing. Woo! No! Oh, gosh. Man. <laughs> See, do I blame the mouse for that? Or do I just blame the fact that I haven't played this game in forever? Yeah, I need to be faster. No crap, Skippy. Focus. No! I can't, I can't- I- I seem to have a hard time aiming with this thing. <laughs> Track two, here we go. Alright, here we go. I call this one oh boy. It's an early work of primitive expression. Faith plate. Oh, I actually nailed that one. Oh crap, the mouse isn't moving! Oh! It got stuck. It was sticking. I couldn't move it. Oh, dang it, mouse! No, oh, why'd I do that? I hate you so much. Well, I don't. Here we go. Don't screw up. Oh, I actually did that somehow. No! Oh, did I do it? I think I did. It's so weird moving your finger to press the button. Like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Oh, it sucked. I blame the mouse for that one part where it got stuck. Yeah, it, it, it's harder than it looks, at least to me, you know? Any other gamers out there that want to take on this challenge, let me know how you do with these games and an Apple desktop bus mouse too. <laughs> oh gosh. So, can you game with an old retro Apple mouse? I would say barely, but it's different for everybody. It's just kind of like another obstacle you have to overcome. If you practice with it enough, you'll probably be fine. I've seen people play Portal with trackballs, for crying out loud. Overall, I think Apple Desktop Bus Mouse 2 glides and feels much better than the first one. But later, I realized the wheels inside the bus mouse were rusted. So that made this informal comparison a little unfair, but it just made for a fun challenge. But yeah, not having that right click is very limiting. I mean, heck, you look at modern gaming mice, there's buttons all over those things. There's like 12 buttons on them. This has one, so it would be very challenging, but it's possible. Now, another thing you could do with a one button mouse is you can control a Linux virtual machine with Linode. If you have infrastructure with Linode, you can control it with a one button mouse if you want. And all you have to do is simply click on things in your web browser. If you have an application or website that you need to scale and deploy, Linode has the infrastructure and the 24-7 support you need. Linode offers out-of-box apps for game servers like TF2, CSGO, and even Minecraft. 
you can run your own virtual private network with OpenVPN. Build an online application with Joomla's content management system. There's so much you can do with Linode's affordable Linux virtual machines. And to boot, they offer award-winning 24-7 technical support. Visit linode.com slash computer clan and click one of the sign up buttons. And we'll give you a $100 60-day credit just for watching this episode. And when you do that, you're also supporting the computer clan. So thank you very much. And again, if you want to hook up these old mice to your computer, try out a Wombat from Big Mess of Wires. Play some games and let me know how you do using these one-button mice. I'm sure you'll be better than me, but yeah, I'm curious. And feel free to subscribe for more tech episodes coming out every week. I love making episodes about rare and retro tech, new tech, and of course, scam tech. And I know I promised a follow-up to that fake SSD scam buster. Oh man, but I ordered more SSDs from the company in, like back in June and they still haven't sent them to me. I wonder if they may be caught on, but I have plenty of other cool things coming in the meantime. And hey, if you like this episode, you know what to do. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Catch the crazy and pass it on. One more thing. Remember to clean your balls.